Hey, I hope you're doing well. Hope that uh, your day is full of awesomeness and everything that you want. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about liberty and living in liberty because liberty is the state of being alive. Liberty is living it. Liberty is elevation of heart, mind, soul, and body. To live is to be conscious. When someone is dead, they are unconscious. So liberty is consciousness. Consciousness is knowledge. Liberty is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And most of all, liberty is peace and love. So peace and love is interesting because peace, a peace sign is just like this, right? And when you have a peace sign, I have a video about this. I'll link to it. And uh, in that video, I'm talking about how the peace sign is actually two because you have one and two. The peace sign is also V because you have this, which is five which is half, which is two, because half is one, two, one slash two. And peace is half, which is half of 10, which is five, which is V, Roman numeral V. So Roman letter V. So this is peace, this is half. This is um, to be separated from the dark, uh, from the darkness. This is peace, to have um, a separation from something that is negative. You have peace, you're at peace because it's an actual place as opposed to somewhere else. So this is why it is an actual place as opposed to somewhere else. This is peace. So when you have this peace, then you have this dual. Um, you have more of something that is better. So in that you're prospering. You have more balance because peace is also this, which is two, which is two can be like this, can be like that, which is equal. Peace is equality. Peace is the equilibrium. Peace means that there there is balance. Means that there's balance, like an equal sign. It's just like the peace sign. It's just like the two sign. So this is it. This is equality. <laughs> so this is what peace is all about. And peace. Peace works hand in hand with love. Love and peace, peace and love. This is the same, the same understanding that you have to have because, because the first was Adam, the second was Eve, which was the equalizer, evening and Adam, adamant and even. Adamant is someone who is so strong-willed, so hard-headed, and um, even or level-headed is someone who is balanced, someone who is not adamant. This is the person who came to bring balance to the universe. And Eve came as that. Eve came so that men, man, wouldn't be alone, so that there would be balance and there would be more, like there would be more prosperity. There would be prosperity, there would be fruitfulness, because, because of two, because Eve is peace. So this is why it's important to find a peaceful woman, right? And this is the peace. This is actually a piece of Adam that created Eve, the second. So this is the balance. And through this balance, we also found that there was negativity that came because Eve was the one who was uh, deceived and not the adamant person. Adam was too adamant to be deceived. But Eve came with that uh, disequilibrium, which is also about equality, right? So Adam and Eve were created at the same time. God created he, them as two in one. Peace and unity. Peace and love. So peace goes in hand in hand with love because everything created is love. Because everything is a matrix. <laughs> so Eve was the duality eve was the equality eve was the equilibrium so we need a woman to create the equilibrium but we just needed a piece of adam to create eve to create the other one the second one the dual one the other identical one they were just a pair and through this they had the balance they had the peace this is balance. This is true balance. The man and the woman. And when a man meets a woman, what happens? They make love. So peace and love.
This is all we need. Peace and love. So this is an action of people making love which makes everything in the world. Just watch like... <laughs> um sex is everything right yeah just watch that and it talks about love how everything is love everything is translated through love as love and everything is love so when we have peace and we have unity which is oneness which is the two becoming one we have peace and love so love is so important that it has so many facets to it love is so strong Love is everything that there is. God is actually love. And this love creates everything in the universe. Everything is a reflection of love. And everything is governed by love. Love is the most important spiritual power known to man. And love is a spirit. Love is alive. Love is liberty. Love is living. To be alive is love. And living in liberty is living in love. Because living is love. You're people make love to make something that lives and that is liberty so liberty is love living is love we live because someone loved <laughs> we live because we're loved this is what life is life is love so when we have peace and love we have equality in love we have equilibrium of love this is tranquility right peace and tranquility liberty and and um tranquility peace is balance peace is equality right so equality is peace <clears throat> eve is peace as well so when we have love there's a video that i go into the etymology of love called the etymology of love so if you want to get that then you you should, you should you should watch that because the meaning of words is so important and the most important word known to man is love so you have to know the etymology of love what it, what it, what it is and love is just everything and when people are playing tennis right when there is no score they say that they are tied in love when both of them are zero zero means that they're tied in love so love actually means that there is zero there is there is this ring of nothing it is it is it is zero and zero is just this ring right this is why when people are in love they get each other rings like this ring represents zero and in the universe we only have zeros and ones and one one makes everything else that's the Fibonacci sequence the Fibonacci summation that's the that's just how everything is everything is one 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 zero 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 right this is what this this is actually what you're hearing because everything is being translated digitally the digits are zeros and ones so uh when you have zero which is zero which is nothing that's where you have love this is just zeros and ones right this is translating love the spirit through me the figure the one right so the one neo this is the matrix so <laughs> these are zeros and ones right <laughs> so it's crazy but um when you look at it like love is zero and zero is nothing knotting so people are knotted together like tying a knot right like uh, that uh, wedding ring is just a, a wedding band or it bands the knot like a alice band a headband sweat band wristband this is a wedding band which ties together just like uh, a bow on like whatever it is just like that uh, ribbon which ties everything that is between two things that is between it that is within it okay so when you have zero what you have is nothing so love essentially is nothing love is nothing not in the sense of having apathy but love is a sense of having no reason not reasoning too much that's why love is so irrational unreasonable because it has no reason people who love when you love truly it means that you do it wholeheartedly wholly which is whole which is zero again which is a whole where something falls it fell through the hole holiness is that it's nothing it's void you're not doing it with anything within that you want to get from the action you do you don't have anything without 
the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. To not want, to have no desire for anything. This is love. And through this, you're expressing the greatest form of desire. Because this is still love. Love is everything there is. Which means it's nothing and it's everything. Because... When you love someone, you do it not because they can give you cash, not because they can give you uh, fame, not because they can give you uh, even an orgasm, right? What you're doing is you're loving them because they are. And you don't have a reason. There, there is no reason for love. Love is, is, is everything, but it has no desire. This is the, the essence of God. God is love and God has everything. He is the supreme or they are the supreme because he is everything. He's man and woman. He's everything. He or they. And when I say he, I'm just referring this in a gender neutral way, just like he like or man, right? He is just there or they are just there and they just um, are love and through everything, they create everything. And this is, this is, this is, this is the creator. This is the most high. This is the ancient of days. And this is love. And this love has no desire for anything. And why did God choose to create everything? No. God just choose, chose to love everything. So if we ask, like, why are we here? We're here because someone made love. And made us so those people made love for no reason except for the fact that love lives so this was the liberty like they were alive and they were in love and they made love what's the reason for this existence the, ex the reason is love which is unreasonable which is no reason has no wants has no reason if you're if you're playing in tennis for love it means that you're playing for nothing you're playing for no score so love keeps no score love gives everything so that it receives everything so it's the ultimate empty cup because since it's empty it can actually get anything else because if a cup is full if it has desire it has something so this desire is filling it up but love is is nothing it is everything it is eternal it is boundless it is bountiful, it is beautiful, and this is peace and love, and love is how we are all created. So we're created as love, through love, with love, for love, and this is what we do when we're here, we make love, and love is mating, love is a matrix, love is a matrix, which means that everything we touch or see or feel or smell, we mate with. So it's very important to do what you love and love what you do. To do what you love and love what you do. When you love what you do, it means that you're doing something for nothing. If you do what you love, it means that you're doing something because you have no reason to do it, because you are. So this is your own existence. This is liberty. Liberty is love. Liberty is living, being alive, being conscious. And the, old, the whole reason why we're living is because someone made love and made us. So liberty is love because the cause and effect. The cause is the effect. The effect has the cause. So the cause was love. The effect is love. And now we are causes of love. So it's very important to, to love truly and selflessly because that's the only way to love. You can't love with the reason. You can't say that I love you because you make me smile. No, you love because you love. And the reason for love is unfathomable because, because God has no desire for anything. He doesn't create us so that we worship him. He creates us because he loves us. <laughs> that is the matrix. The matrix is love. That is the truth of life, that everything is love. And everything is connected because of love. Everything is given through love. Everything uh, meets because of love. Everything lives, breathes, and is because love is. And the existence or the truth of love is just that love, love, love is really everything. Love is like the power we have. Like I can't have enough of love and peace and unity and tranquility and prosperity. And all of those things, joy, peace, happiness, discipline, 
you know, knowledge, wisdom. That's all love. Patience, kindness. That's all love. But love is also not wanting, you know? So it has it has it has a very positive negative. Say that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Which means that not is negative, right? Not is minus, zero, subtract, want is add. So it has this um paradox. I shall not want. So not wanting not wanting could be love, right? But you still want not wanting. <laughs> There's a paradox there. So that's uh, a paradise. That's um that's that's a paradigm. That's uh something for kings, you know. It's the glory of God to hide things, it's the glory of kings to reveal a matter. So let love live and just be love. Love is everything that there is. Love is the truth of the matter, whatever matter is. So everything grows because of love and we have life and breath because of love. So love is all there is. Just just find love through everything you do and uh, doing things because you are, because you because you are because you are love and that isn't a self expression of who you are and you know just keep in mind that we live in a dual universe this is equality this is eve eve came with the evening the evening has darkness it has some um some 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 ignorance not to say that Eve represents darkness. Eve is also the ruler of the night. Eve gives light to that darkness. Because there were certain things that Adam couldn't do on his own. So there had to be uh, the balance. There had to be an equalizer. There had to be tranquility. Transcending inequality. That's peace. Peace is tranquility. There had to be liberty. Because Adam could not reproduce without Eve. Eve is so important because the woman was able to reproduce. Uh, Mary was able to conceive without a man. So the woman is so essential that this is liberty. The woman is liberty. The womb is liberty. Knowing that um, our we were carried, bearing in love, made through love and carried through love, this is... Um, this is our life and this is our 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 heritage our parentage our our matrix how we are supposed to always understand that we are created by love by people who made love and these people have to be honored for love in love for nothing you know for nothing and this is this is this is the world we have that Eve came with that and she represents so much just how women represent so much the the adamant the Adam was also there but alone he could not have tranquility it takes two to have peace it takes two it ha it, it takes me and me to make me you know it, it takes a piece of Adam to make Eve so it takes peace from me to 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 give peace to you it, it's just it's just it Solomon Solomon this is uh, the wisdom of Solomon. He brought peace. He brought um, he brought equality. He brought um, tranquility. He brought liberty. So yeah, thank you a lot for watching this. And uh, I just wish your life is filled with liberty and love, peace and love, and uh, all of that. <laughs>